Welcome to GC Cars. My name is Eric. And I'm Jesse. And this is the 2024 Ford Mustang GT Performance Package. <laughs> performance it is. It is quite performancey, and this is actually a bit of a personal video for myself because I grew up in Europe and we didn't have the Mustang. It was the forbidden fruit. Mm. Yeah, exactly for us. So I kind of fell in love as a kid with this. Always dreamed of having a Mustang until two years ago when I drove a bright blue Chevy Camaro 2SS1L and God, was I good. And as much as I was a Mustang guy, I um, kind of was like, you know, this is better than the Mustangs I've driven. It was pretty great. It was pretty damn great. However, this is the first time I'm in a performance pack Mustang. This is new generation, new upgrades, and the Camaro's dead anyway. Yeah, unfortunately. But the question is for me, in two to three years, when I buy a fancy car, economy permitting, will I drive a Camaro or will I drive a Mustang just like this? Can I rekindle my lap? We will find out today. Starting off with one of the best aspects of the Mustang, the 5 liter Coyote V8. And, uh, uh, gotta say, this thing sounds fantastic. Oh my god, I love this. And it grips. Oh my god. The Gen 4 Coyote, now with dual throttle bodies, puts out with our active exhaust. <laughs> oh, it's active. 486 horsepower, 480 pound of torque as and of course through a six speed manual to our rear wheels this thing sounds so good <laughs> it, it turns heads oh yeah it revs to no end like i yep we both when we started driving this short shifted this by like 50 percent <laughs> yeah literally you shifted like six thousand like, oh i still got way more to go because uh it is first of all so loud and you just don't expect it this revs way higher than the lt4 and the camaro which revs to 6500 mm. so you got almost another thousand rpm to go and if i just make some use of that which still actually i gotta i can't even go to the band here wait 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 ah. so i'm not gonna cut this out yeah because there is an issue here there is an issue here and uh partially skill issue maybe okay put it down in the comments but they're gonna say it anyways this transmission was one of the big things people wanted to see changed from the last generation Mustang to this generation because we have the MT82 six-speed manual it's not second to third yeah it's second to third and like it is just there's like a weird you don't feel like it's in yeah, it's, it's hard to tell if it's in, and then sometimes you're not in, sometimes you grind. It's just like Q and is it in? Yeah, joke. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, it's just that transmission, especially when the Camaro has a Tremec transmission, when the Shelby's get a Tremec transmission, and the Dark Horse gets a Tremec transmission. They're just kind of like, yeah, you know what? You just get in a GT. Well, screw you. You got to pay eighty-five thousand US uh, Canadian to get the Tremec, which is oh, just make it an option. Listen, okay, it's it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but. It just it could have been a little better, and it's like holding it back yeah. a little bit. However, once you actually don't miss your shifts, oh, man. Oh. yeah, there's just a lot going on here. It is V8 <laughs> heaven, and like you said, this the grippiness rips stupidly. Such a capable car that just eggs you on to push, 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 push. And the problem is, you don't feel like you're going fast. Oh, no, no, no. It's no, like no. scary, kind of. It's like you look down, and he's like, oh, okay. Um, I'm actually uh, going the speed limit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is uh, just, just once again my recommendation if you buy a muscle car or a pony car, whatever you want to call this, uh, get a good lawyer, <laughs> have him on speed dial, you never know when you're going to need him. Uh, but it's just, I just get lost in this. Revs and 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 we still have 2,000 RPM to go. It's insane. It's insane. I love this. Imagine going from like this to an EV, like back to back. Oh god. Oh god. God. There's a reason why we barely schedule EVs anymore these days. And yeah, let's actually talk about EVs. Well, in a way, because there used to be a trifecta of muscle cars. The Challenger is dead. The Camaro is dead. What's going on in this world? Uh, the Mustang is the only one that remains and we have an all-new generation that isn't really an all-new generation. 
the call of the new generation. It's a heavy refresh. The dimensions are the same. The yeah. platform is the same. Got an updated motor, updated interior, which we're going to talk about in a bit. Um, but I guess you can go by if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because yeah. it sure as hell. You got to give it to Ford, man. You got the Raptor R. When Ram discontinues the TRX, they add more horsepower to the Raptor R. Like that? They didn't bold. have to. They just did it. They just bold. did it. Bold. Raptor R review 24 comes Ooh. soon. Just, you know, <coughs> just so you know. Okay, so yes, I love this. This is amazing. Is it as good as a Camaro? Dynamics wise, no. The steering is precise, however, kind of not. Yeah, a little bit. It is, you don't really feel what it is. You kind of have to just trust this Mustang and trust the tires to just keep the grip up, which there's a lot of. <laughs> but it is not very communicative. It doesn't help that this just has the default suspension. Uh, so we don't have the Magna, right? Because this is not a premium package. So you can't even get the Magna, right, on the premium, which is stupid. You gotta buy the premium package for like six grand yeah. Canadian, yeah. then get the $2,000 Magna, right? Don't think it makes any sense. Should have been included with the performance package, in my opinion. I agree as well, I mean. But that's the way it is. So it's, I like the suspension. It's just, for really spirited driving, tad bit soft, I find. And it doesn't help like turn this car in as much as you might want it to. Then the steering doesn't communicate quite as much, but the biggest difference is the chassis. I hopped into a Camaro yesterday, even a convertible one, uh, just to kind of recalibrate. Let me just enjoy this for a second. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh man. man. And that Camaro Alpha chassis is superior. However, they're both fantastic horses. This is the best selling sports car in the world. And this will have benefits that the Camaro doesn't as well. Oh yeah, which we have we'll talk trunk. Get into. Yeah, we we'll have a trunk. We yeah, have windows like that. that actually you can look out of. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Let's talk about that later. Let's stick to the. Good stuff. Oh, God dang it! I love this car. Yeah, it's uh, the noise is, is intoxicating. Honestly. <laughs> so good. I love the aids. I say this every time. My God. Listen, I'm not religious, but thank you, God, for making, <laughs> us, make, making humans invent the V8 because it is humanity. And it snaps best your head back, work. too. <sighs> okay. Um, TLDR, is it just as good as Camaro as one of the. In terms of dynamics, no, I much prefer the Coyote, though. The Coyote is the way superior engine, just doesn't turn in quite as much as the Camaro as one of the. It does have other benefits, though. And you know, one of one of the smaller ones is one of the many tack edges we have. Uh, this this little buddy here oh. we get with the performance brake is a uh, with the performance package is a drift brake. So this emulates an hydraulic brake like you have in a drift car. It actually was developed with Formula Drift drivers. So if I just kind of demonstrate that real quick, hell yes! And here we go. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but how about we come to a quick stop and talk about the exterior? Sure. All right, S650, seventh generation Mustang. What do we think of the looks? I mean, this thing right here. Oh, uh, the, the like heat it. extractor? I like it. I always uh, like black accents, but that's, that's nice. And it works really well with the grabber blue paint. Awesome. Love the paint, love these headlights. Super aggressive. I think in general they nail it. Like it's always a little controversial whenever there's a new generation of like a Corvette or a Mustang, whatever's mm -hmm. beloved. It's, like, oh, it's not the shame. Listen, I think they nailed it. Like we still got the sequential tail lights, uh, front lights, and all that. Knock knock. Knock knock. Let's open her up. Who's there? Who's there? Five O Coyote. There. Open up. There we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, How are you doing? A, she's a beauty. She there. is a beauty. She screams a little bit, you know, she likes it rough. Um, <laughs> anyhow, we're gonna get to that in a second again. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, listen, I think it looks really cool. We got, the, uh, we got the matching paint on the brake calibers also in blue. You can get them blue, red, and black, I think. So whatever spec you want to get. I'm a fan of red. Yeah, my, my, oh, my perfect spec is yellow with the black accent package and the red brakes. Just, you know, kind of works. 5-0 on the side. Mm -hmm. Just and, to let you know. Yeah, because this is not really a new generation. This to this is oddly familiar. Might be saying it's exactly the same, but don't but tell it anyone. works. Now, the most controversial part is this end. The rear Even end. for me. Even for me. Like, I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll... Listen, okay, the most important thing is we still have our tri-bar taillights. 
We still have the GT logo, we have the quad exhaust, but yeah, the angle is a little it's extreme. I, I don't know, do we need some black axe? What do we need? I don't know, I think I just I need know. a year. I need a year to process this. To grieve? No, kidding. Exactly. No, my eyes are like, <laughs> this is sick. This is still, is. I love this car, it's great, but do you want to get behind the wheel? Give me those keys, buddy boy. Did you just call me buddy boy? Yeah. What the f is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Let's talk interior because interior and daily driving maybe because uh, I think that's an important aspect if we talk about hey should I buy a Camaro or should I, should I buy a used Camaro obviously or should I buy a Mustang and uh, I think this is where hands down the Mustang just uh, beats the Camaro with a stick a pretty big pretty long stick oh man it just grips it just, it grips. just, it just grips. grips I want to take this to a track oh man it just my my that's when you know when a car is good when, when I'm like, I want to take this to a track. Yeah. I want to like track this thing. Speaking of that, back on track. Interior. Back, nice segue. <laughs> back on track. Um, so, okay, controversial. The dual bubble kind of thing design is gone and we have two screens. They're not bad. I, I honestly, I prefer them to the pre-refreshed digital screens. I'm a sucker for analog gauges, but I think these are good. And yes, we don't have a premium, so we don't have a weird connector piece, but I'm pretty sure the screens are literally the same. I'm not a huge fan of like the slapped on tablet type style. It's a little bit old, but it's not bad. I can't, I'm not gonna hate on it too yeah, much. Yeah, it's a, I think the software works fine. I mean, you got all the cool features in here, like the drift brake, the rev meshing, line lock launch control. You can make it look like, like a drag tree and like do all that stuff. You got all the gauges. You can put a Fox Bunny gauge. It's on, pretty cool. Which is pretty sick. And they keep updating this. So I'm sure over the years, you're gonna get more and more kind of availabilities. And maybe one day you can flash it and just kind of get your own gauges on there. Probably, yeah. And. Honestly, like even for the, I don't think you need the premium GT because no, mostly, I like the seats. I love these seats. They're very comfy. Yep. Um, so they cloth and leather mix. They're just heated, no ventilation. But even in the warm summer days we have, these don't get too hot. These don't get too hot. There's a lot of air circulation in these. I think they're very comfy. I think the materials are. <laughs> the materials are not the best. Yeah, there's some street scratchy plastic, but listen. You pay for what's under the hood. And what's under the hood is freaking awesome. A hundred percent. Oh, wait, wait, braking test. Slam the brakes. Oh, God, this thing is good. Holy oh, shit. Happened to me before, too. <laughs> um, yeah, because I forgot to talk about that. Sorry, I just saw the straight. I just saw the straight because this thing has insane brakes. The brakes are so good in the Mustang. Like, it's just, I don't think any other car stopped as quickly as this did. That we have. They're great. They're so grippy. Um, but sorry, back on track. Um, <laughs> this is a much more usable car. Yeah, just the, the interior space, the windows, the trunk. It, it's like, for me, when I got into the Camaro, I was like, is this a tank? And I was like, tank windows. You it, know what I mean? Like those 100%. little. Like it's Like it's just. I, it, the Camaro is not a very comfortable car. No. Um, I was willing to put up with it because the dynamics are so good, but for most people, no, like the Mustang, you can most people can daily drive in a way. Yes. The Camaro is very compromised, which is also part of why it fails. Um, and then there's small things like this active exhaust. There's a quiet mode. Yeah, yeah. There's a quiet mode, and there's a very much not quiet mode, which also sounds better than the Camaro. Oh God, it sounds that's that Coyote, right? It's got it's a, so such a distinct sound the 5.0 has. Like you can hear, it doesn't sound like other V8s. It has a kind of a like growl, like a raspiness to it. And we're hoping our audio captures that so you guys can really, yeah, really like hear that. You want to hear this. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's actually, yeah, it's so loud, it's actually vibrating. That's one complaint for me. There's oh, yeah. some spots that in the cabin that kind of vibrate. Yeah, there's like resonance at like 4,000 yeah. RPM where just like stuff in the car just starts shaking violently. Um, but my heart shakes just as much, so I'm okay with that. That's great. Right. Which great. leaves us with the price. So the only kid on the block, so they can literally charge what they want because you want to have a new muscle car or some pony car, uh, yeah, you got to go to Ford, actually. There's no one else. Aspect, this costs $54,210 US, roughly 64500 Canadian. For reference, that is pretty much on the dot as much as that 2022 Camaro SS1 LE cost. And if you go for the used market, it's pretty much right on the same money for a low mileage SS1 LE. Which makes it very interesting for me mm -hmm. because if they're the same money, 
two to three year old future me, what am I gonna buy? Where's my heart? Did the Mustang get me back? Or did the Mustang fail to live up to the Camaros? Excellent. Yup, 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 yup. Do you hear that, guys? That is the sound of victory. The end result for me is future me. And it's like, ugh, it's hard for me, but the Mustang is it. That I cannot resist. This? this you want this? So like, is the Coyote, is, is that manual as good as the Tremec it's in not. the Camaro? This no. is my biggest, again, I'm, I'm a not a good manual driver. I'll right. be the first to say it. But I've driven a bunch now for this channel. And this is one of the more difficult ones. I don't yes, know why. Yes, it is just, uh, you probably get a little used to it, but it's not perfect, but I can live with the imperfections for the character that the Camaro uh, that this brings. The LT4 is a very good engine if you want to set lap times. Mm -hmm. It is not, so, it doesn't have as much character. It doesn't have that sound that is just as good. The Mustang has character. And for that reason, I'm back into Mustang. Yes. And that, Thank you for watching this video on GC Cars. Pure testosterone! Oh! Woo! <laughs> what the f is this piece of shit? <laughs> if you guys like the video, don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe. Uh, should I just drive into a tree now? Or? And we'll see you next Friday at 8.15am Eastern for a whole <laughs> lot more fun. Bye-bye! <laughs>